and we are back! Hey! It's Crusader Kings! Woo! We are continuing our run as the Count of Anjou. We are currently the King of Scotland, Brittany, Wales, and Burgundy. Um, and we are desperately trying to stop Francia from falling apart so that the Cyborg Empire Emperor can take over. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry, we'll do a little bit of recap. But first... <sighs> a little Chimay. A little Belgian beer. Been a while since we've uh, we've done a little bit of this kind of beverage on stream, but I think it was well earned today. Plus, it's a little bit hot. The reason it's hot is because it's been cold here all week, um, and I finally today had to turn the uh, the heat on in the house um, because it was real chilly this morning. It's finally like because we've had a lot of days where it's been like actually it's gone down to sort of single digits in the evening and things. Um, and so finally the house is, has given up enough of its latent heat that I turn, had to turn on the heater. And uh, when that happens, the basement gets real toasty really fast. So, um, you know, a little beer because it's hot. It's going to be great. Beer from imaginary country. Exactly. Who doesn't love imaginary beer? A little heady, but not too Okay, right? Uh, France is ugly. Well, don't worry. We're going to fix it up a little bit. First of all, one thing to keep in mind. There's little bits that say Scotland over here. They are all going to turn into Francia as soon as we die. So we started here, if you haven't, if you've missed it, we started as the Count of Anjou. Way over here, we're a 10-year-old boy, Count of Anjou. At some point, we became the Duke of Brittany. Um, then we started expanding over here, eventually we made the Kingdom of Brittany. Well, once, uh, once France, so we were a, we were a subject of France, and at some point France became the Empire of Francia, which meant we could crown ourselves King of Brittany. We were still um, bending the knee to the Empire of Francia, to the Emperor of Francia. We kept sort of expanding over here, eventually a holy ward for all of Scotland, which is great. We did run into a little bit of an issue at that point where the peasants of Scotland were revolting, and the way they revolt is they revolt against the highest title, right? So they were trying to do a revolt against the, the well, at that point, I think it's the Empress of Francia. And the problem is, oh yeah, we're going to read those messages in just one second, I promise. The problem was that Francia was, and in fact still is, in a bit of a bad place. The actual Emperor of Francia, now Emperor Cyborg, we'll explain that in a second, doesn't have a lot of troops. You can see he's currently sitting on 3,000 troops uh, and is in debt. The same thing was the problem with his mother, the Empress. Not a lot of troops, massive debt. Francia's got some issues. That way, as a result, when these uh, rebels, so we took over all this land, you know, we took over it, but we were under the, you know, the head title of the Empire. So what happened is these, um, these guys who are all Adamites and Picts, uh, were being feeling rebellious they sent an ultimatum to the emperor of francia or the empress of francia and the empress was just like fine you can be independent i was like no 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 that will not do so what happened is we declared independence if the empress wasn't willing to defend our lands from these stupid uppity peasants we were going to do it ourselves so we declared independence and she was like fine because i had twice as many troops as she did because again the empire's in a very bad state right now and has been for a couple of decades of this so we've been going and expanding and doing all sorts of kick-ass things on our own at some point what we did is we started a romance with the empress of francia we romanced her we became soulmates i murdered her husband i divorced my wife i murdered her son i disinherited my son we had a child together cyborg who is therefore the heir or was the heir of francia his mother died, so he now is the Emperor of Francia. He's also the heir of all my stuff. When I die, I'm going to be playing as Emperor Cyborg, who's going to own all of this. Which is going to be lovely. Yeah, my cheating wife, who's also my cousin. The Pope was more than happy to grant me a divorce from my cheating, incestuous wife. Been a lot of incest problems. Uh, at some point, um, not ourselves. We're currently playing King Andre. His father... No. Oh, right. He's the son of Princess Swamp Slug. Yes, there we go. So Princess Swamp Slug, who's our mother, our current mother, is Princess Swamp Slug. Um, her siblings, it was Princess Westerberger, and also Prince Green Eyes. And the three of them were having an affair with each other. Oh yeah, my wife was incestuous because she was my cousin. 
She wasn't having an affair with a close relative. She was my close relative. Whereas the children of, um, of, uh, yeah, King, King Odo of Scotland, who is the grandson of the first character we played. So we played first as Count Odo, and he ended up leveling up, leveling up, leveling up. Um, his son died before he did, so we ended up jumping from, uh, from original Odo to this Odo here. And then, uh, yeah, so all his kids were, um, were sleeping with each other. It was a whole thing, you guys. It happens. It's only incest if someone finds out. Anyway, so all we have to do now is die to inherit a ton of land. So in the meantime, what we're doing, France, because again, the empire is really weak right now. Part of the problem is that the, um, the emperor doesn't have a lot of counties. He only has two counties himself, so his direct troops aren't very many. I don't think his vassals are all that keen on him or something's going on. I don't know. Maybe his laws are all screwed up um, and he's broke and everything is terrible. Uh, France keeps getting declared on. You can see we're in three different wars here. It's all, it's all Frankian stuff. Um, and we've jumped in. We're going to try to help out. Uh, but it's tough to do it by proxy. So we do have our troops raised. We've got them sort of spread out over here. And we did end up, yeah, the end of last war. The one that's the worst score, the minus 70 here, is because it's a war for Provence, which is completely sieged out by the enemy. So we're heading over there. Hopefully, Franks, the Frankish troops over here, don't get booped before we show up. Because if we can group up and then have about 10,000 troops, we should be able to clean up this mess just fine. Uh, but I'm a little bit scared. Our armies are currently out of supplies, but they're going to be marching through friendly territory. So hopefully they'll resupply on the way there and we'll see what happens. The family tree branched into a triangle. There is an achievement. I think it's called a perfect circle or something like that, which is to have your parents, grandparents, and great grandparents just be like two people in total. Which would mean like, so your, your, your father, grandfather, and great grandfather would all be the same person. And same thing with the mother, but maybe in, like, different combinations. Yeah. Just, just Crusader King thing. Multiple inheritance diamond. I explained this game to a 55-year-old co-worker and added that AI seduced a lot, and that led to a lot of incest. She's a bit skeptical about the games I enjoy. Yeah, describing things like Crusader Kings or RimWorld to, uh, to people tends to lead to some funny, some funny things. Anyway... I think we can probably just unpause. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. There's a crusade going on for Jerusalem, and I would love to participate. Man, that would be great stuff. Unfortunately, we're a little too busy, so I've kept having to tell the Pope no. Uh, and we'll see how that goes. I suspect at some point we might get spanked in terms of um, piety or devotion levels or something, but there's only so much we can do. Oh, uh, Redotta, this is a second Westerburglar. This is not... So there was a second Swamp Slug and a second Westerburglar. Um... These, this is not the incestuous one. Does need to get married. She is a super genius, which is awesome. Um, she was married. Unfortunately, he kicked the bucket. Killed during a siege. That is a shame. Um, let's see what we can do. So let's reset our filters. Um, let's see if we can marry her to another genius, first of all. Now, it has to be someone. I want it to be matrilineal. My goal here is to have more children of my dynasty be at all possible. Um, so we're going to do that. She's 33. Um, she's already got a couple of kids. I haven't checked them. I don't know if, uh, well, yeah, because I think we married her to a genius or maybe someone intelligent, but they're both geniuses, which is great stuff. So, um, I don't know. How about the 49 year old? He's a genius. That's really all I care about right now. It's like, yeah, the religion doesn't match, but that's going to be okay because they're still going to be her kids and I think it's going to be fine. And yes, if you haven't done it, make sure to hashtag name. Uh, to get you into the draw in case we have babies to name or something like that. Question, who's second in line for Scotland in case Cyborg happens to be leading an army? Um, that's an interesting question. It's fine. Prince Eve? Who is also him. Yeah, so it, it's still good. Both both the family trees are still lining Or both inheritance schemes are still lining up. If for some reason we don't inherit and become uh, Cyborg, we'll become Eve. Uh, and for both, Francia and Scotland. Again, we have four kingdoms. We just keep switching which title we show off. Uh, but, you know, Scotland is the best, right? So, of course, we're going to do that. Okay, let's unpause. And hope we can keep Francia in one piece for a little while longer. Francia is going to become a lot more powerful when the king of Francia all of a sudden has um, seven more domains. So, he's got two counties. So he can get seven more. 
uh, and hopefully we'll be able to do something about that. He'll also inherit my money. Not that I have that much of it right now, because it turns out wars are expensive. Thank you for the bits, uh, UM Oarsman. Um, glad you're playing this today. My anniversary. My wife and I are enjoying your show. Oh, with the kiddos! One month away from our 75-month anniversary of you. Wow! Also, thank you for that, because it reminded me that I want to read a contribution to the Whiskey and Chocolate Fund, or maybe today it's the beer and... I'll probably get some chips later on. Uh, fun. Um, Flava that! Thank you very much for your contribution. Ho ho ho! Baguette and chocolat. Uh, taking bets, the post Andre time skip results in the Empire meetings. Yeah, we talked about maybe at some point uh, when we get through this next inheritance step, what we might do is flip to observer mode, let time advance by like 50 years, and see what happens, and then come back and try to clean up the chaos again. Just because I don't like playing as a giant blo a blob, but I suspect the, the, the nation would explode without our guidance, and then we get to put it back together again, which sounds like a great time. Uh, Jmart, thank you very much as well. First time watching a stream live. Wanted to see my name pop up. Well, thank you very much, Jmart. Uh, and I missed Banana Cabana earlier. Sorry, Banana. Hey, Quill, finally had to get an Epic Games account because, oh, they took over Rocket League. Right. What do you think of the Epic Games store? If you don't mind telling us, it seems like maybe the bad press about it was an overreaction. I'm not sure. Uh, to me, the Epic Games store comments were literally the exact same comments that used to be leveled at Steam back in the day. And the thing is, the criticism, the critique is important because it keeps people on their toes. I don't think the Epic Games Store is inherently bad or anything like that. Um, certainly, they're flinging a lot of money. I, you know, I don't like exclusives and things like that. There's that sort of thing. But overall, I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's bad. But at the same time, keep up the critique because it'll keep making them uh, better. I mean, they're not, you know, they don't have all the features of Steam. Don't get me wrong. But you know, they're allowed to exist okay to have competition in fact it's a good thing to have competition i like gog and all those things as well um i will say this about the epic game store they're really good at putting out free games i don't know if uh i think it's still going on if you're interested in football manager 2020 currently free like forever just make sure to go hit get a zero dollars for it and you have football manager forever now also watch dogs too yeah i haven't had any technical problems with the epic game store seems great I mean, oh, it'll be nice when it gets um, uh, maybe workshops for mods. That'll be the one thing. It'd be nice to not fragment the sort of modding communities and things like that. But I don't know what the solution is there, really. It's already kind of fragmented, right? Some things you get on workshops, some things you get on, like, the Nexus mods and whatever. So I don't know. The Epic Game Store, um, Scurvy Ninja. Assuming it's still running, but yeah. They, every week they have a free game, or two, or three, actually. There's three free games this week. One of them is something I'm not really familiar with, though. Hey, Mr. Brightside! Another Paradox game I bought thanks to Quill. Also, you will you buy one of the next-gen consoles? Probably. So I don't do a lot of gaming on consoles. Most of the consoles I buy and the games I buy have been sort of um like like a lot of like party and group games because to me that's the purpose of a, mostly a console, right? Because my computer is always going to be the best environment to game in. Um, but the console is great because it sits in the living room and it's good for group games. Um, as a result, I've tended to buy a lot of the Nintendo products because they tend to have a lot of those great sort of uh, party family kind of content we can do. And in fact, my Switch definitely gets played more than anything else. Um, doesn't help that say, you know, Pokemon is on it, for example. Uh, but I do have an Xbox up there, uh, an Xbox One, I guess, that I'm assuming it's a One. I don't even know for sure. It must be a One, right? Yes, it's got to be a One. Um... That, uh, that I use for, like, racing games and things. But again, mostly because I like I like it when it's two-player racing game and stuff. You know, give me some split-screen gaming. That's that's basically what I'm, I'm looking for. I'm looking for some sort of couch co-op or split-screen gaming. That's mostly what I do console stuff with. But I suspect that there'll be some sort of next-gen console game on the PS5 or the Xbox One Million or whatever the hell they call it um, that I'll be into. Okay. Hmm... All right, um... Oh! I guess I ran some, some people off at the end of the last stream. And a marriage proposal for West Virgo. Good. And ransoms. Charming King Andre! You're damn right! Yeah, Queen, Queen Hildy of Bavaria. We did uh, we did have to fight a war. Uh, Bavaria was trying to become independent of Francia. Uh, so we helped out with that. Uh, where's my armies at this point? Ransom. Okay. Yep, more ransoms. Good, good, good. Oh, they're still up there. Okay. Just want to make sure. Like, they might run into this tiny stack. Um. Oh, these are actually enemies, too. This dark red. So is the 34. We actually might want to deal with this populace. Armor. Well, okay. The timer is the most dire over here. They're getting ticking war score from holding on to their war goals. So, yeah, we're going to do that. But we're going to walk through this province, boop this tiny stack, because we may as well. And then, 
This one would be easy to boot, but it's a little out of our way. Um, do I have too many duchies? Oh, I do. Uh, I don't think I can give a duchy to um, Cyborg because he's not actually in my court. Now, the Duchy of Noroi, I should definitely give away. Here. Um, and I can just give it to one of the people I give county level title to. Org, Valerian. Okay, well, so, um, uh, Earl here, my nephew, is actually within my house. Um, Northumberland, this guy here, is within my dynasty. He's within a cadet branch, but still in my dynasty. Same thing here. Just a family, but I may as well leave it within my house itself. So, Earl Chucky over here. Congratulations. You have a terrible, terrible haircut. Uh, you know what? I should fix that. Well, first, let me give you a title. You are going to get, congratulations, the Duchy of Noroi, which will put a crown on you, so all of a sudden you don't look too bad. But I have the uh, a barbershop mod, which, first of all, it's full screen, and also lets me barbershop anyone in the game, which is great, because we could go and make his hair less dumb. Oh, kind of a handsome boy all of a sudden, isn't he? Done. Better. Here, you can be a duke, but you have to grow your hair out. Nothing worse than Scottish Adamites or Danish Adamites. Why do all the cold countries become nudists? What's up with that? Forced haircut and cursed tyranny. <laughs> I've never played the Pikmin series. I've always wanted to. It looks great. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like the uh, Brawl series. Like, I'm really bad. I'm bad at actually all fighters. Um, and I'm very bad at Brawl, but it's so much fun. Um, just, like, especially when it's, like, four people playing and it's just pure chaos and stupidity. It's the best. Um, when I, although when I talk about, like, the pure chaos and stupidity, for me, the best example of an ideal console party game is... Um, oh, it's got a horse in the name. Oh. Someone in chat will get it. It's like... The build your own platformer game. Um, Ultimate Chicken Horse. There it is. Ultimate Chicken Horse, which is available on Steam. And in fact, I played it on PC first. Ultimate Chicken Horse. Get it. Play it. It's stupid, amazing, awesome. You just like, and and it, it is ideal as a couch co-op kind of game. Um, get yourself, you know, get yourself three friends, four controllers. I played it for the first time at Extra Life United. Um, it was just, it wasn't one of the competitive games. It was just one of the ones on sort of the floor. And there was never not a full crowd around it. It's great to play and it's fun to watch as well. We're going to learn on a job, which is stupid good. 20% of our counselor's stats are added to ours. Yeah. Um, I think... Oh, I was leading an army. I don't know if I still am. Let's make sure to lead an army. Maybe I'll accidentally die. That would be great. Although, I'm honestly not sure. I think the game will get a lot harder when we're the Emperor Frankia. But at the same time, Frankia's life will be better if I'm leading it directly. <laughs> uh, interesting. Oh, they're fighting some other dudes. I was going to say, France isn't really pushing these guys away, but... Hmm. Let's land here for a sec, and then merge up, because we're going to have 8,000 dudes here. It's whiskey and chocolate! Oh, everyone's having a friend. Everyone's having an affair, sorry. Everyone's having a friend. Raspberry! Thank you! When you get back to Flight Sim, you might be interested in checking out on-air airline manager's great alternative SF economy. Raspberry, can you... Oh my god, Raspberry. Funny. Can you send me a tweet or an email with that so I don't forget it? Because, yeah, I, I like FS Economy, but um, alternatives would be very tempting to check out. My grandson was in prison. Hit again, I'm out. Okay, fine. Uh, another war going negative percent. Uh, that one already was at the start of the stream, but yes. We're gonna deal with this one first. Let's do some... Let's boop some fools here. Ah, oh, he's running away. That sucky timing. He won the siege and ran away, and our mercenary contracts are expiring. We would have bopped him... Ah, uh, how long do I have? Oh, um, I'm gonna have to extend these.
very negative. Can I ask the Pope for money? Yes, I can. Good. Do that. Um, Bergie, my granddaughter, can marry. My granddaughter, who is also a genius. Genius. Matrilineal. Oh, these are some old fox, aren't they? Gargamel! I love that we got Gargamel in our family name. That's great. Let's get you betrothed to Bernhard. I know you'll have to wait eight years. Let's see what we can do. We can also ransom some prisoners, so we're going to do that. Make sure we've got the money. Because then now we can extend this mercenary contract as well. And we won't go bankrupt. Important. We are going to be attacking to the hills, but something we're going to have to deal with. If these guys didn't get engaged at all. I didn't worry about bankruptcy because we had that's why I checked to make sure we could get money before I renewed the contracts. Uh, you get a huge combat penalty if you are currently uh, bankrupt, if you're in debt. Huge combat penalty. You do not want to do that. It's whiskey and chocolate. Yeah, the Pope and then the ransoms gave us a bunch. This is hard, because we are attacking into the hills here. We got it. Wimey! Hey, Wimey! Because you're just the best streamer, YouTuber, you always have made me laugh. Oh, thank you very much, Wimey. You've been around for a freaking billion years. I know, because you've been you've been a dwarf many times in Dwarf Fortress. Alright. Uh, they're still getting ticking war score here, but we have, we have to smack these armies around a little bit so that we can de-siege with a certain amount of impunity. Oh, Knight got hurt. Yeah, and the men at arms are being countered. Well, the um, yeah, the uh, the mounted units don't like fighting in hills. So that's part of it. Okay. Let's desiege some baronies here. My glory is widely known. Oh, apparently I had a rival who died. Hooray! Man, my guy never gets any stress, which is too bad because it'd be a lot easier for him to die if he did. Oh! Oh! I thought this was another war against Frankia. Yeah, I mean, I'll accept, I guess, but... Because I don't want to take the hit. I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to help right now. No stress at all since the murder spree. Yeah. We are, we are compassionate, which made all the murdering pretty hard, but otherwise we're okay. The age of the world will end 6,000 years after its creation. Yeah, I think right around the year 2020, apparently, is going to be the time. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to say I should consult more priests just to get maximum uh, lifestyle experience out of it. Okay, we're good there. Oh, are they jumping on me? They they are. Well then. Be a little tricky for a second until we reinforce. Oh. That was unexpected. Uh, we'll beat the small stack. Reinforce them here. Luckily, they're reinforced. The numbers are getting more even. A little dicey now, but then we're going to reinforce and have slightly superior numbers. But yeah, fighting in bad terrain, countered by... Interesting. Oh, bad terrain, but countering other things. Okay. We need more spearmen. But well, we do have these pikemen. These Brittany spearmen. Wow, that is going to be... This is the most balanced fight I think we've seen. 